the Eisen Center at Meadowlands on Friday, April 4th when the International Fight League presents an action-packed night of mixed martial arts. For tickets, visit Ticketmaster.com or call 201-507-8900 now. Tap into IFL.TV. Log on and step inside the ring. Two. Round two of this middleweight championship bout. Matt Horwich's first title defense. Ryan McGivern moving backwards and, and another and takedown. Thing, and he's got another takedown. He's securing his, his takedowns here. And if you think about it, he might have pulled number, round number one off. He is certainly taking the fight to the champ. Yeah. What we haven't seen the other challengers do, of course, uh, Roy Nelson in his fight is dominating. Walk that foot up. He's going for a first figure for the air, right? Don't hook that leg. No. Don't let him roll you up. That would be a huge upset to get pulled that one off. Scoop the leg. He's either going to do that or push Ben Horwich's right knee and then pull his left leg out. There we go. He's going to go for it. Horwich wants to lock up his hands now. Let me see. Yeah, he needs to. Because you can get on bar from here. You would almost say that in, in many cases, this is McGivern trying to beat Horwich at his own game, although McGivern certainly has a great wrestling background. He's got good ground control. Very hard to get off. Do you see? Always here, locked his hands. So it's very hard to break it, but now he should go for it. Yes. And you see, now Horwich, he realized he's too late. Now it's pure strength. Let's see what he can do. He's got to watch out here. Why am I given this that Horwich doesn't buck up and throws him on his back? It's going to be difficult, though, because if he pushes the arm down, he can't buck up because he's going to show the lock himself. McGivern continues to work against Horwitz. Yeah, that armbar. We'd like to see a shot from the other side. There we go. There we go. He's, He's trying to stretch that arm on Horwitz. Yeah. It's a difficult one to pull up. That armbar, you need a lot of strength. And Horwitz is strong. Everybody that I know who rolled with him told me he's freaky strong. And he doesn't get tired. Pound for pound, they say he's a lot stronger than most middleweights. You don't you think you're in there against at least a light heavyweight. Yep. If not a heavyweight at times from guys who've sparred with him. Neil Valley, does he want to go for a full mount? He goes for a full mount. I predict that Otis is going to throw him to the right, by the way. Yeah. McGivern is very smart here not to go for a full mount. McGivern because he wants to side instead. Up. See, but McGivern cannot give him any space because at the moment he gives him any space, he's just going to pop out. He's going to go for submission or reverse. They're looking already for, for the full guard. He'll probably get it now. Yep. Right. He's going to look now for a build up wire. He's going to put it under the strap. He's going to put his head down. You see that left this arm, you, you can't smart. even find the left arm now of Ryan McGivern. And he's all wrapped up. Yeah, and Ryan McGivern here is uh, double jointed. He can be very happy that he is that. I wonder, can he possibly hang on for 25 more seconds? Look at this. Yeah, he needs to, to, he needs to hold his head. Otherwise, it might go wrong. And there's a lot of transitions here. Like you said, yeah, he needs to roll into him. That's what he needs to do. But you see, Horwich got another one. He doesn't want him to roll into him. He may be saved here, though, by the bell with five seconds to go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, is he going to stand? Yeah. Oh, is he going to stand? Oh, yeah. That's the bell. He tapped it. He tapped it. Because Horwich. Horwich is saying, no, the bell rang. He didn't tap. Oh. Tap into IFL.TV. Log on and step inside the ring.